little superheroes started school. Hey, that's cool. You got all the toys and everything. This is on Insane People Facebook, though, so you know this is getting messed up somehow. You're corny as F. Look here, Dingus. Just because your parents never loved you don't mean you need to be making fun of somebody else having a first day of school and parents doing something creative for their kid. How to say that you were the bully that bullied people because they liked things that were different than yours without saying it. Oh, yeah, and last but not least, peaked in high school. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We are going back in the r slash insane people Facebook where the social and social media sits for socially awkward and stupid as shit. So if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, save 10% with gamer subs, use code Tommy, or click the link down below. Putting reporters on notice that you're wrong, you're in my bullseye and I will destroy your lying career, I know exactly. Exactly how to end your career and employment. Try me. Every grassroot is going to learn how to deal with deep state elitists paid for advertising masked as journalism. Excuse me, why? Re remember when we said, wait until the participation trophy kids grow up? Welcome to 2020. Aren't Confederate statues participation trophies, though? Yeah, you know that person at the top is the same type of dingus that was, would get upset at the cashier because, oh, lo and behold, we don't take expired prescriptions, and your rocket science and thing that is stopping you from going about your day is the fact that you don't understand how the frickin' card reader works. Y'all be the main demographic of the people that I have to deal with that will just stare at the machine thinking, hey, if I stare at this long enough, maybe something will happen, and it just says, press the green button, you dumbass. Okay, well, it doesn't say you dumbass on the end of that, but I think I need to get a little more tech savvy in order for that to happen. Yeah, we need more diners. Chain restaurants will be banned day one. Christian nationalism. Ah yes, we are going to ban the things that are making most of the money. Meanwhile, let's bring out the things that very much did not make most of the money because they were only in one to two places max. Also, I'm going to guess Christian nationalism, your thing includes being up deep enough into the center of the United States to the point where you're not allowed in if you're a dark enough skin tone. Actually, animals killing eat each other because we kill eat them. If we stop, they'll stop. That is not how that works. Wait, what? Yeah, that's a better one I'm thinking. It is a vicious cycle of madness that started when man killed and ate the first animal 3,000 years ago. Ah, yes, you know, because all the dinosaurs were eating frickin' salads. Because he did that, this behavior spread throughout the animal kingdom and encompassed the world in evil darkness of death. Well, I can tell you something, I got somebody here that finally is the first person I could say this. Uh, we need to hit them upside the head with the circle of life. This is mainly a thing in the US because women don't grow up until they are 40 plus. Women in the Philippines mature three times faster and are five times better at everything than US women are. And I do mean everything. Please come get me in touch with the GBI. I have tried calling. Ah, yes, so you know, posting public on Facebook, that'll give them contact you. I'm not scared. I will not back down. I will not disrespect other parents and families that are dealing with this tragedy on the opposite end. They did not deserve this. With that said, I will not leave my nephew standing alone. When Ovalde happened, I told my own children that only hurt people hurt people. I did everything I could to fight for my nephew, and my niece, and my other nephew. Y'all can go ahead and play the blame game all you want, but the families affected by my nephew's actions deserve all of the attention. Hold up. What do you mean, affected by your nephew? I will take care of my nephew and what he needs on this side. 
Just check yourself before you speak about a child that has never asked to deal with the BS he saw on a daily basis. So, in regards to, um, the caption of this post, I don't really know how you could just see horrible things happen by somebody in your family and then, oh, because they're family, I'm going to still defend them. No, if somebody in my family does some of that stuff, I will very much not support them because that is some horrendous things to do. I want to see her pull the not my darling angel baby boy or, you know, my darling angel baby nephew or, you know, one of those lovely cards that we've seen before. Some might not agree, but that is okay. Remember when you used to be able to whop your kid for misbehaving or being sent outside to get a hickory without a fear of DEFCS being called? by their teacher? Remember when the teacher could get the paddle out and beat booty? Well, then some parent got offended and said, you can't hit my kid. You did not have school pew-pews or threats. You had fist fights after school behind the gym. We was not running out to the truck to get the firearm that was hanging in the back glass. We knew better. We had common sense. Sense. We need common sense back. We need to be able to whop our kids without fear of a call being made. One thing I learned growing up, if he did not leave a mark, a lesson was not made. Ah oh, yes, you know, let's have the person try to make the rules where their logic states, if I didn't hit you hard enough, you did not learn from it. And for the Karens, no, I'm not beating my child. I'm just making a point. I just uh, talked about that to my granddaughter. No discipline now. We behaved or else. I do not hold a grudge. I has great parents and do not hold a grudge against my teachers for paddling me. I just talked about that today with my granddaughter. She was asking about the paddles they used. I still remember how long and thick they were. A shame they took them out of school is how their morals change. I still believe in a good old-fashioned spanking, and mine still gets it. The Bibles spare the rod, spoil the child. You are right. Back when there was corporal punishment, we never had any mass acts of violence. Certainly no serial killers, redactors, and anything like that. Also, definitely no proven correlation between childhood physical A and increased adult rates of violence or mental illness. Yeah, yeah, no, there was never a case of monkey see monkey do. No. That would be absolutely preposterous, absolutely uncalled for. Just, it's impossible for that to happen. It's almost as if you do violent things, those things will then uh, come on to them doing that again in the future because that will be the only sense of discipline that they happen to see as justifiable. This dress code has been a place all summer. All we ask is that people respect our dress code as they do everyone else's business. God is blessing this business. Thank you. People are not leaving anything for the imagination much nowadays, so our dress code is a strict Kim's Cafe dress code standards. No shorts, no crop tops, no leggings, no t-straps, no short skirts, no skimpy clothes of any kind kind, no cleavage showing, and no white t-shirts. What the shit is wrong with the color white? You know what, uh, you know, it's kind of bad. I'm not allowed in because, God forbid, I, I don't like cooking when it's hot outside. High school seniors are carrying the same Little Mermaid and Marvel backpacks as kindergartners. These girls are about to be adults and go to college. This behavior should not be encouraged as it promotes a stunted mental growth and is the main reason why the West has fallen. Uh, yes, society has fallen because, uh, what do we got this time? Uh, women are uh, wearing stuff with pictures of people that they like on them. How dare they? I urge you not to take any tests for the Bio virus, especially 
especially the free ones the schools and other places give you. But do not take those tests. There is no reason. If you're sick, you're sick. Both wrong yours, dummy. They don't treat you for the virus. No different than the common cold. Also wrong then. I say this because of what has been found on the tips of these tests. Not only that, but others have used orange juice or drinks alike on those tests, and they still showed up positive. Absolutely no reason to test for it. Likewise, no reason to test for the flu, and alike. Do not voluntarily stick anything up your nose or in your body without a sturdy foundation of research and knowledge. This is the same person that'll eat everything off of the McDonald's menu not questioning a single damn thing but with that that is going to have to be it with the video if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions and if you guys have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye